It's a little bit more than a stroll getting to this one from way down there. But uh, looking at the uh, Orbin we have here, I think you'd have to agree that's a pretty awesome looking Orbin. There's a good view of it in the distance. Probably harder to get this kind of perspective when we're right up on it. So, it is a good look at it now. All right, coming up on the uh, ore bin now. A better look at it. And uh, see, they've got two separate lines of rail. Looks like one going in, one going out for waste rock. Although, I'm not sure why they would uh, put waste rock in the ore bin in the first place. But you see, there's a chute coming down there, and a chute right there. Which is pretty awesome. And concrete foundation. That was another line of rail going in right there. All right, looking at this ore bin from a different angle now. No less impressive, I have to say. All right, so the ore bin is there. Uh, See a tank here, probably a compressor tank, maybe. Uh, I say that because there's an adit right there. And there's also some stuff up above. I'm not sure what that is yet. It's kind of uh, like waste rock over there. We'll check the adit out in a minute. First, I want to see more of this impressive ore bin, especially given how hard we had to work to uh, get up here. This is pretty cool. Still pretty solid, I have to say. I know, famous last words, right? But so far, it feels pretty solid. It comes over here as well. And, uh, oh, okay, here's a chute right here. So, an ore cart would obviously come out of the attic right there. If there was something good, come over here and dump it down there. And uh, there's some of that structure down there. And I, I don't know the reason for how I get it. So if it was smaller ore, I mean, all the ore got dumped down here. And uh, you can see there's a grizzly right there. And so the finer stuff would drop through and the bigger stuff would go off the side here. And uh, down that chute there, obviously there would have been a cart there. And they would have taken it out there. Maybe that was uh, a place where they held the ore before uh, crushing it. Or who knows what. But I don't see any reason they would dump waste rock down there. A uh, little view of the trestle I'm on here. So, like I said... Or cart would come out here, or we'd go down here, and uh, you would think that waste rock would come out here to get dumped. The only reason I'm a little hesitant about that is because of how finely ground this stuff here is, but I suppose there's waste rock mixed in. Yeah, I guess that's waste rock. Another view of the back side of the this uh, structure here. All right, so taking a closer look at this, that adit is right there, and uh, the chutes and such are behind me here. But you can see there's also a separate chute here, which apparently would be connected to the adit, and uh, some ore would be dropped down there. I forget the term for that. I think they call it a retort. But uh, Obviously that's what that was down there. You see the bricks and all the pipes and such coming out. So I'm not sure what differentiated what went where I'm standing now or what went down there. There are my friends there. Give you some scale on this. I'm gonna head down here and take a closer look at the stuff down here. All right, I was just up there and I've come down to this lower level. And I don't remember the terminology for the processing of mercury, but that is what you're seeing here. That's what this was for. Lots of 
pipes and heating stuff up and condensing stuff. And yeah, probably better to Google it because uh, I'm a lot more familiar with uh, milling gold than mercury. Here's a look underneath those trestles. That's pretty cool. Got trestles running out along there. I'm making my way over to the top of the bin here. All right, underneath the trestle now, here's a better look at the woodwork that's supporting it. It's in an awkward light right now. But uh, doing the best I can. Maybe it looks better from this perspective. Got a little uh, walkway here leading out to uh, the bottom of that chute where the grizzly is. So like I was saying, that was a little gate right there. I didn't see that from above. A gate right there. So yeah, the ore would get dumped down here. Go through that gate. Hit the grizzly. The big stuff would bounce out where I'm standing right now. And then uh, go down this ore chute here. And given how battered it is, hopefully you can see that. That has had a lot of rock going down it. Out there. I would, like I said, the cart would take it out there. The... Uh, Stuff that goes through the grizzly apparently just drops straight down here. I hope you can see that. Uh, it's lined with wood down there, and there are metal, uh, um, what's right here? Metal straps, wide metal straps, or it would flow out of the, the chute down there. So, pretty, uh, pretty good capacity, actually. And here's looking down the front, and you can see uh, those metal straps or slats I was talking about, plate, whatever you want to call it. And uh, obviously it would go out, and there'd be a truck or something sitting on the road right there. Haul it away. Also looking down here, you can see there's a separate uh, walkway running off toward that... Uh, That, uh, what am I trying to say? Trestle. That's where I was looking for. Trestle. Leading out there. Pretty interesting stuff. Very impressive ore bin. However, there is an added above waiting to be explored. So, I'll head back up the uh, waste rock here and let's get another at it. All right, back up top of this uh, orb in here. Oh, now we got good light. I have to show this again real quickly in the good light. So, back up top, add it behind me here. For anyone had to cool down, we'll go check this out. I can already smell the uh, the rodent urine and feces smell coming out of it. And this rock does seem kind of sketchy and crumbly, so this could be a fun one. Uh, all right, just inside the portal now. Oh, wow. Really uh, structurally sound, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice, uh, nice little boulder just punched right through the lagging right there. Better one right there. Oh, even better, yeah, good stuff, wow. Exactly what you want to see in abandoned mines, oh yeah. Good stuff, especially mixed in with all the, uh, the rodent droppings and urine. Oh man, who wouldn't like a mine like this? Good stuff. Oh, you're right, yeah, the rodents have been busy back here. Huh. Okay. Wow, that one really knifed through. Huh. Uh. Looking ahead, keeps going. So there's a fair amount of ground fall. Got the distinctive uh, color of the uh, cinnabar mines, or quicksilver, or mercury, depending on uh, somebody's preferred term. Yeah, there's ground fall all over the place here. Kind of surprised they didn't timber this. Really crumbly rock. 
Huh. Uh, let's see. So, it's like a pretty major cave-in right there. There's a ladder here. It looks pretty solid and runs up there. See, there's some stuff up there. I have to climb the ladder apparently. Uh, in the meantime, oh man. This is a mess in here, but you can see daylight right there. See the daylight? So, uh, yeah, probably could climb through that. I don't know how motivated I am to do that, but I'll maybe give it a shot. Take a look at that ladder though first. All right, I just climbed up that ladder there and I'm up at this level. And you can see that they stoped this section out pretty extensively. And it uh, looks like it's pretty backfilled there. Same thing there, just stops right there. And the, the stoping's there with the backfill. And uh, look to my right here, they're the same thing. Uh, I don't know how far back that ran, but they've backfilled it, as you can see. And then, uh, where I'm standing, you see they tossed a ladder back here and uh, a bunch of timbers. And they've got some of the uh, old school timbers from the trees they cut down outside here. There's also some rail <coughs> at my feet here and a staggering amount of uh, rodent droppings. Um, that looks caved right there. I can't tell you. Um, I do see daylight. Hold on. Okay, I just came from there and uh, I can look through and see the surface right there. So, uh, maybe we'll go out that way. Looking this way, you see some timber supports here. Uh, looks like it runs up into a stope there. Got some gobbing and a lot of rodent activity here. Uh, I guess as long as I'm here, I'll look up there. Okay, I was just standing right there a moment ago. And uh, that's where the daylight is. And uh, that section I was going to check out just runs back here and stops there. That's it. It doesn't, go, it doesn't drop down right there. I know it looks dark there, but it's, it just levels out right there. So let's go check that other side. I'm coming back down now, and uh, I just passed underneath that rock, that's that timber. I came under there. You see how fractured that is? I mean, the only thing holding it up right now is that timber. That is really uh, not a pleasant sight, especially because I have to go back under there and around to show you guys what's over there. Man, that is really a, uh, huh. It's just the pieces right there, you see that? Alright, just came from over there. That's a look back to uh, where I came in. And over on this side now, uh, well first of all, I'll start at the top. Uh, you see a shaft right there, running out. And there's this big platform above it. That's obviously been there for a while, and I would imagine that's probably got an uncomfortable amount of weight on top of it, since on the surface it's probably covered in rock. Um, looking down, see there's a lot of heavy, heavy timber shoved in the sides here. And right in front of me is a platform that has collapsed. Um, this must have been the station where they hoisted the uh, mercury ore out through there. Um, you can see the rail here on top of this platform that's caved in and they can see the supporting timbers underneath there and uh, I can see a couple little dark spots down there where it looks like it keeps going down but that's completely caved well it's not completely caved a rodent could get through that but I'm not able to um, and in regard to the adit below they kept going 
I'm guessing that's what I was seeing. And so I don't see that I'll be able to get through that. I saw that daylight, I thought I'd be able to get through, but it doesn't look like it. So I think I'm actually gonna go back underneath that really sketchy rock and uh, try and exit out that way. Cause it might be interesting to see we, what that looks like going out and also uh, see it from top down. So not too sorry to get out of this one. All right, I just climbed up through there and I've come into some interesting workings here. There's stuff pretty much running off in all directions. There's this pit here and uh, my friends are up here as well. And they came in the smart way by uh, dropping down from above. But you can see there's stuff running off in all directions. So I'll clamber up some more and uh, check these out. All right, up a little bit higher now. That's the uh, opening I climbed out of. That shaft is right there. Uh, better look at what's around us here. Check out the stuff just over here first. Looks like there may have been stuff running down beneath us a bit. Over there, for example, but there's a bunch of rock drop down here that uh, would fill that in. Does that one just go to the outside right there? Yeah. Ah. That's, uh, that's, the, that's above, directly above the uh, main attic. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. This, uh, let's see, I think this just comes back here and stops. Yep. This just comes back here and stops here. But the uh, whole top of this mountain must have just been pretty much solid mercury because they, they took a lot of material out of here. The workings over here look pretty interesting. You see uh, the stoles right there. And uh, obviously some stoping up there. You got a rail here in front of me. That comes and oh, just drops down to a pit right here. Thought that might be more extensive, but it's not. Uh, and then this stope runs up and stops right there. And obviously the uh, miners would have been working up above there as well, and that would have given them something to stand on and push off of and also would have prevented rock from tumbling down and nailing somebody down here. And then last... Just in case you miss it, there's a really nice brightness up there, large one. Oh. I was going to say last but not least. I was going to hit this one over here. But I want to see that bird nest. Oh yeah. He's not kidding. Right there uh, is a bird nest and a big one huh and let's see this last just looking down or it came out again this last one I'll well, fall down the shaft this last one comes over here there's some cool dynamite boxes here 40 percent 50 pounds that's pretty awesome and this also uh, connects the outside with some pretty seriously sketchy rocks hanging down right there. Looks like they uh, went off this way too. Looks like it's either filled in or caved. All right, we were just looking down there and uh, haven't seen this portal yet, or this, not portal, this uh, little, actually I guess it's a tunnel since it, Connects to the outside world on two ends. Quick look back down where we were. And let's see this one. Huh. It's almost cute, for lack of a better word. comes 
out here. You see they uh, got some waste rock here. And then that other adit is uh, directly there. And of course that orb ends there. And then that other one, right connected to the daylight, is over here. And uh, huh, more extensive than I expected. That's the two, it looks like we saw. That one we don't know. Yeah, well, that's obviously. There's more rail up top and more waste rock up top. Oh, OK. Well, that's the one I was looking out of. Looks like a surface worker open stope there. That, okay, that's open stope too? Okay, open stope there. It's kind of a decent waste size waste rock pile here. And then I don't know if you heard him say, but uh, you see rail and more waste rock up there, so shoot up there now. I was just up there and uh, just wanted to show you these open stopes. Uh, you can see the uh, runoff down there. I think that connects where I was looking up before. This is a really sketchy ground here. As you can see, how far back does that one run? Do you look? Yeah, it's how it could go farther. Oh no, it just goes back there. Oh yeah. It stops. I actually look like it caved. Back there, I don't even know if you can see it on the camera, but it goes back there and looks like it caved. All right, we were just looking down there. There is uh, our orb bin where we started, and this is that pit we were just in, looking down on it. I went out that way. Uh, and you see there's a bunch of rock they took out up here, and then those rails we were talking about run down the hill like that. So it would seem they started taking material out from the top and bottom, the sides, all different directions with this one. There's something else over here. Looks like they uh, did a bunch of surface work on the back side of the mountain here. Yeah, kind of interesting how they uh, made that rock wall down there. Uh, another, uh, another peak down that, uh, that pit. Let's see if there's anything else up here. A uh, little uh, landing down there and some wood. You can see they, uh, looks like they cut the tree down for timbers inside probably. And just see if I see anything else up here. It actually looks like there might be something up there too. I'll go check in just a minute. I want to see uh, what's down here first though. All right, there's that rock wall right there. Come down here. You can see I did some surface work here. And uh, taking a look at this thing behind me, I noticed it's got two holes in the side there, almost like a windlass or something. So that may be what that was. Hard to say. Go check out that stuff up on top of the mountain now. Okay, we're just down there. I've hiked up to the uh, top of the mountain here. And uh, you can see I did some surface work here. Cutting to the side of the uh, rock here at the very top of the mountain. This is uh, waste rock below us. See some bits of wood they had here for support or who knows what, but this is all surface. View out over the countryside. All right, we kept climbing up. Uh, there's a piece of the ore bin down there for uh, perspective. And believe it or not, they've actually worked a fair amount up here. Um, if you look down on this side, you can see it took a big cut out here. That's, that's substantial, trust me. I don't even have somebody down there for perspective or whatever, but that's pretty substantial. The view of the surrounding area. And then over here, in case you didn't believe me that that was man-made back there, check this out. 
I'll bet that not many people have climbed up here to see this. That is a little mini head frame right there. That may have been a classifier. And there's a little shaft dropping down here. Let me get down to it. See how tiny the waste rock pile is. That actually goes down a lot farther than I would have expected. There's a very beaten rod up ladder right in front of me. And then drops down to a pit right there. I hope you can see that. It's really dark and I don't really have any way of illuminating that for you. But it goes down maybe 30, 35 feet or so. Just I don't see any drifts going off of it. It just ends in a pocket. But definitely took something out of there. And uh, here's the proof. And uh, gonna hike back down and there's uh, one or two lower uh, adits here to check out as well. All right, first lower adit here. I can smell the uh, rodent smell coming out of it already. Uh, I see daylight. Doesn't look like this is gonna go back too far. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it goes to the left. There's uh, looking up to the sky outside. Nice little skylight. And looks like we uh, come back here. And that is, uh, that's just absolutely disgusting. That's all rat urine or mouse urine. All that darkness is, uh, well, it's like an altar to pestilence. Extraordinary.